It kind of sucks though, because if you want to get uh, actual rings uh, from that stage, you're going to have to deposit the rings you have to get to the emerald, then get another bat uh, batch of rings for it to actually count. But yeah, you can actually use uh, rings as currency in this game, but yeah, I'll get I'll explain more about that later. Yeah, they just got gassed. Uh, it's not something he really does at all. Like that's the only time he does that, at least to my knowledge. Oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means oh, you're telling me. To R1, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. Oh yeah. And here, exclusive to DX. If I can get the camera, there we go. Cream. I don't think she appears in the original, but yeah, she just kind of flies around randomly every now and then. It doesn't really affect anything, but it's a thing. Alright, so now we have another stone key thing. Like, these things are kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a night, a cleverish way of locking certain stages and sequence breaking, but. Uh. <laughs> I mean, the stones are kind of. The key stones are just kind of there. But, um. What was it? The frickin' I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> but no, I I do like the uh, hubbles in this game decently enough. Like they don't do anything too spectacular, but they're s small and contained for the mo for the most part. Um, and they they do have like a bunch of different landmarks and stuff. So it, there are some pretty cool things to find around here. Um, I, I I don't know. They, they it doesn't have that many collectibles. Like you only have a, uh, a few. You have a decent amount of emblems to find, but it's not that much. Um, and the you also have like the upgrades and stuff like that, but it's really not a lot. Um, like finding the upgrades really isn't that hard. Like you can easily just find a lot of them as you go through the main game anyway um, and some of them are actually even required so yeah it's really not hard to find some of the, a lot of this stuff but um yeah i do like the hub worlds overall um i just kind of wish there was more to collect i guess like the um one thing i will say about dx that um kind of makes the hub worlds a bit better is that they have they have a separate mission mode where you go around the hub worlds find these little um like cards and they basically like tell you a bunch of different tasks to do like they can be completely random like get the uh burger guy get burger um shop stand guy thing and and just place it where a circle is and you win the mission just by doing that. So it's just kind of random tasks like that. But it gives the, uh, for me anyway, it gives the um, hub world more reason. It gives you more reason to explore the hub world. Because without that, you really don't have much incentive to. Like, you, the some of the emblems are he uh, cleverly hidden, I'll, g I'll say that much. But again, it's not that many emblems to find. And the... The hub worlds are decently sized, like, they're definitely bigger than Unleashed hub worlds, but smaller, uh, definitely a lot more, a lot smaller than uh, the ones in 06, which is a good thing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, the size is, uh, size for the hub worlds is good, um, I just kind of wish there was more to do in them. But in terms of, like, environments and, like, stuff, like, stuff to see, it's not bad, it's actually pretty good, because you have different landmarks, you have different places to see, and it is pretty cool in that front, I would say. But, um, 
yeah, to actually talk about the level, um, Ice Cap, um, I mean, it's a decent platforming level for the start, but the second half is definitely where it shines more, because, as you see here, I'll just break this fence, I guess, and then suddenly an out of avalanche, because you got to have an avalanche in the snow, snow level, but yeah, now we're just going around, going down a, uh, just going down a snowy hill and uh, just avoiding this avalanche here, so yeah. But yeah, I, I, I do like how they did just call it Ice Cap and not like something else, like, I don't know, fro Frosty, Frosty Glaciers, I don't know, I don't know, um, because I don't think a lot of people know this, but this is actually um, part of Angel Island, like, um, Angel Island is falling again, <laughs> and uh, the, uh, you saw that little place in the Mystic Ruins, like, break open, what was it, like, <clears throat> what was it, I, I'm losing my train of thought, um, oh no, like, the wall, like, tore apart, I guess, I don't know, and, like, revealed, like, this, the area to Ice Cap and all that. Now, the reason, the reason for that is because Angel, because Angel Island, like, fell, ended up falling again, it basically, Angel Island basically landed next to the Mystic Ruins, and we're technically on Angel Island right now, like, people like to say that the floating island is Angel Island, like, that, that's, that's meant to be the area of, um, like, the Master Emerald and all that, but the Angel Island itself is actually, isn't just that. Like, like, people like to say, oh, Angel Island is, like, stupid small in this game, which is, which isn't the case, because this is meant to be, this is actually meant to be Ice Cap Zone, but it's, like, a different area, but, um, what is it? I guess the one of the areas in Red Mountain can be considered an area of lava reef. I guess. Um, yeah, not bad. But yeah, it also makes more sense once you actually can when once you actually look at the area of the floating island. But yeah, I'll I'll mention that when we, when we get to it because it pretty much. Uh, destroys all the uh, theories of like Angel Island just being that tiny area so yep okay we have to fight Knuckles Nipples the enchilada how are you doing what's up Knuckles something bugging you no time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have, right now. What? Let's just see you take them. Huh. And prepare for the greatest boss fight in history. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man, that was so hard. But yeah, the yeah the rival fights in this game are just. What can I say about them, man? No, they're just pathetic. Hmm. That's a chaos emerald. Dope. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? <laughs> what about you? Way to go, Knucklehead. How does that make any sense, man? No, like, I have me? What about emeralds. you? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Chaos! Oh, dude. Easy. 
Now we have the most overused boss in the entire game. Because you have to fight this guy three times. And it doesn't get any different like with any character. Like it's always the same. The only difference is that Tails has one less hit. That's really it. Otherwise though, this guy isn't really that interesting. Like honestly, um Okay, well, I, I don't really care for Chaos Zero, but again, it's a tutorial fight, honestly, but yeah, that Chaos 4, um, I don't really care for. Chaos 6, uh, mm, I, I like Chaos 6 enough, um, Chaos 2 is probably my uh, favourite Chaos fight, uh, minus Perfect Chaos, obviously, but yeah, I just, I just don't really like this fight that much, it's kind of annoying. It's just kind of, it kind of just drags on, uh, honestly. Um, you just kind of jump from lily pads and, and all that, because if you actually stay in the water for too long, you will take damage. Uh, so, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's just kind of boring. This fight just isn't very interesting. Like, you just kind of have to jump around, wait for uh, Chaos to, like, go to the surface um, and just hit him there. Like, there's really not much else to say about this fight. Wait, I guess someone whose attacks are kind of cool looking, I guess, but yeah, I don't know, it's just, there's really nothing exciting about fighting this guy, so yeah. Yeah, again, he does have, have some pretty cool attacks, but they, he doesn't really do it that often. Most of the time, he just kind of follows you and takes the lily pads out and, like, does stuff like that. Most of the time, he just does that, and it's not really the most exciting of moves. They aren't the, those aren't the ex most exciting of moves. Again, he does some, have some pretty interesting moves that he can do, but the thing is, again, he doesn't use them a lot. Now we have. Now we have the uh, this little CG cutscene. I can play with knuckles. Yay! All right. Hi. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Oh, shut up! I was just trying to go and I, I just wanted to talk. What? What? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's just go to tails. Sonic, wait here for a second.
I love how it awkwardly just kind of shifts to the side. Alright, Sky Chase Act 1. They didn't even bother coming up with a new name. But yeah, this is actually a pretty cool, um, like, uh, idea for a uh, 3D version of, like, those kinds of stages. Like, instead of, like, Sonic, you being, like, you controlling Sonic and jumping on the robots and stuff that go, like, fly towards your plane, um, this time around you're actually tail shooting down the, uh, the, uh, like, robots and all that. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, concept for these types of levels, and I think this game does it pretty, uh, pretty well for the most part. Like, I never, really, barely ever use this move. The, like, I only use it. Um, I, I think there are some things that you can't, uh, like, target, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can target everything, like. Oh no, what I, what I use this for is to shoot missiles, or these weird things I hit, because you can't, you can't target those, but you can target the uh, cannons that it comes out of, um, so. Well, not cannons, but you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, you just kind of just shoot everything, just hold B or A, I think? Is it? Yeah, B or A, and... Just, just target on it all the enemies because it's a lot more precise than uh, just shooting manually. So yeah, just kind of just target everything, and you do get a uh, emblem if you do get an, a good enough score on, it, on these stages. Because there are two of these, so yeah. I think this one is like seven thousand or something. I, we already passed it, so it should be good. Even though I'm not going for hundred percent here, but yeah. Well, either way, we should get an emblem. They're going away from the air carrier because reasons. But I, I have no idea what they're trying to accomplish by going over there. Over there. Eighty-one percent, not bad. Yep. Well, I think you already get a. You get one emblem from that regardless, I believe, so it doesn't really matter.